Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Moran, and I have a story to tell you in sign language today. The story today is called The Little Red Hen. This is a folk tale. A folk tale is a story that usually gets passed down to people. So one person tells it to their friend, and that person tells it to someone else, and that's how the story goes on. What we also know about folk tales is they often teach you a lesson. And the lesson is about something that's right or is that something that's wrong. And we call that a moral. So we're going to hear something in here that's going to make you think, hmm, what are the characters learning in this story? So you know a lot of folk tales already. For example, The Three Little Pigs is a folk tale, Little Red Riding Hood, The Gingerbread Man. So now you know another one when we hear this story. Some of the signs that we're going to see in this story you already know. For example, we have red. That's an R, this is the letter R, and you do it over your lips, red. You also know some of the animals that we're gonna see in this story, so I'll do the ones you know first and then I'll teach you the new ones. You know duck, which is two fingers by your mouth, duck. You might know goose, which is your whole hand because a goose's beak is bigger. We've done cat quite a few times. Cat because of the whiskers and pig, right, pig. We haven't done hen and a hen usually has something here like on their head. So this is just to show you, it's a three, one, two, three on your chin. And this is the sign for hen. So the title is going to be the little red hen. And you'll see that quite a few times in the story. We're also gonna see her say, she's gonna do something by herself. So she's gonna say myself. And we're gonna take our fist like this. When we put it like that, that's the letter A. We're gonna go myself. Now, if you don't know the story, you're gonna see very quickly that a lot of the animals say not I. She's asking a question and the animals say, not I. Not, again with the A, not from your chin, I. One word that's in this story because it takes place on a farm that you might not know is the word reap. And reap means after a farmer grows everything, he has to cut it down and bring it in. So the sign for reap is this. It's kind of grow and then cutting it down. It makes sense because it's exactly what the word means. So those are the signs that we're gonna see in this story. I think we're ready for the story. So the title of the story is The Little Red Hen. This is a favorite folktale and the pictures are by J.P. Miller. One summer day, the little red hen found a grain of wheat. A grain of wheat, said the little red hen to herself. I will plant it. She asked the duck, will you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I, said the duck. She asked the goose, will you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I, said the goose. She asked the cat, will you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I, said the cat. She asked the pig, will you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I, said the pig.
then I will plant it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Soon the wheat grew tall. And the little red hen knew it was time to reap it. Who will help me reap the wheat? She asked. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the pig. Then I will reap it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. She reaped the wheat and it was ready to be taken to the mill to be made into flour. Who will help me carry the wheat to the mill? She asked. Not I, said the duck. Not I said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the pig. Then I will carry it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. She carried the wheat to the mill and the miller made it into flour. When she got home, she asked, who will help me make the flour into dough? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the pig. Then I will make the dough myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Soon, the bread was ready to go into the oven. Who will help me bake the bread? Said the little red hen. I think you know. Not I said the duck. Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the pig. Then I will bake it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. After the loaf had been taken from the oven, it was set on the windowsill to cool. And now, said the little red hen, who will help me eat the bread? I will! said the duck. I 
will, said the goose. I will, said the cat. I will, said the pig. No, I will eat it myself said the little red hen and she did there's one more wasn't that a great story I hope you were able to join in with me and do some signing along with me when you saw what the animal said every time. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. And not I, said the pig. And there was another line that was said over and over in the story and that was, and she did. How about that little red hen? She ate the bread all by herself. I hope her friends learn the lesson or the moral. If you don't help, you don't get to have any of the good things that go with it. You need to help. Help, that's the sign for help, help. I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope you learned some new signs too today. I will see you all again soon next week with another story in sign language. Bye. Take care.